Hi, welcome to Chris Cook for you too. Today we're going to be baking chicken. Now a lot of people have came to me and asked me how do you bake chicken in the oven. It's really, really simple and baking, I'm going to be baking chicken legs, but baking chicken legs or chicken quarters, it's, it, you use the same procedures as if you were baking a whole chicken. So you can take what I'm doing today and you can apply it to baking a whole chicken. The only difference is I'm going to show you how to clean these chicken legs as well. So let's get started with the ingredients that you're going to need in order to bake chicken. You're going to need, of course, the chicken legs, and I'm using um, these chicken quarters. And if you're doing a whole chicken, then you would just need your whole chicken or whatever pieces it is that you're going to use. Now, your seasonings can vary, and you wouldn't use the same ones that I'm using, or you can use the same ones that I'm using. A lot of times, you can get away with just using this to bake and this will make your chicken real good if you want chicken that has more flavor to it then you can get off into more seasonings here is the basic chicken seasonings that you would need when baking your chicken you would need pepper salt onion powder garlic powder and paprika now, if you want to branch out into more seasonings, you can and use whichever ones that you would like. But to this, I'm going to add poultry seasoning and I'm going to add adobo seasonings. Now, this will make your baked chicken taste very, very good. But if you want to get off into using other seasonings, if you want to use rosemary, if you want to use um, some... Uh, Anything that you want to use that may be different. You can use rosemary. You can use a hint of sage. You can use uh, some parsley. You can use anything that you like. But these are just basics that I use for baking chicken. So I'm going to go away, meet you at the sink for showing you how to clean your chicken quarters. Be right back. Ready. Okay, now I'm at the sink. And there's several things really that you need to know about cleaning uh, chicken legs. I should have just done a whole segment on just getting them clean. But let me just go ahead and do uh, just, I guess, a mini version of what I'm going to do. First of all, you have to get off this fat. You see the fat that's going along the side of the chicken? Then you have to get that off because that's too much excess fat on the side of the chicken now there is a part here you only see a little part of it with this particular piece, uh, piece of chicken but that's uh, the butt end of the chicken if you don't eat it then you can just go ahead and cut it off if you do eat it then you can leave it there sometimes you will see hairs on the chicken these are just the feathers that came from them when they clean the chicken you want to get all of those feathers off of the chicken any excess skin like this and there's a lot of chicken feathers right there but any excess skin you don't really need it now if you want to eat it you can but I always take it off and then there's a part in the back and this is crucial you see that part there's a little bitty break in where that um, that backbone is right there so you want to clean that out just take your thumb and your thumb will slide all the way through there and you want to clean out all of that little extra gook and sometimes there's extra slime on the chicken so you want to get that chicken you know all of that slime out of there as well now once you do that if this chicken is too large for your family see all that excess fat that excess fat you want to get out okay and you want to throw it out now if this chicken is too big of a piece say you got children and it's too big of a piece for your children there's a way to know how to cut this you see where that fat runs dead down there that's where you cut it there's a little piece of fat try to show you on another one you will always see it see that little line of fat that runs down there and this is the slime I was talking about see there's extra slime and you want to get it off but you see that little piece of fat that's how you know where to cut this chicken quarter if you want to make two pieces out of it now I'll show it to you I'm gonna come straight down that okay 
Now I got two pieces. Okay. You come straight down that, that part and you'll always go through that bone. I'm going to do it again. Let's take this one. See it? There it is right there. And it's on all of your chicken quarters. Come straight down. See? And you'll hit it every time. Okay? Try it one more time. Then I'm going to leave it alone. See it? There it is right there. Come straight down. Because that's exactly where your bone is. So you want to come straight through it. Now on here you see that I deviated just a little bit. When I see it, go in. But that's exactly where you want to be cutting at. Now I still have to clean all of that. But I just wanted to show you that. Now here, see the back of that? You don't want to eat that. So you take it out. All of that. You don't want to eat that. So you take it out. Now the best type of chicken broth is when you're baking your chicken. Why is this the best chicken broth? Because when you bake chicken you don't add water to it. You just put it in a pan with your seasoning and it's going to create its own juices. And the juices that you're going to get from this, that chicken broth that you're going to get is going to be straight chicken broth. With nothing added, no water or anything. Sometimes when you boil, well every time you boil your chicken, you're adding water to it in order to boil it. So you're diluting uh, what would be your chicken broth. This way, you get the straight chicken broth. Look at all that fat. You don't want it. So any place that you see excess fat, just go ahead and take it off. Now a little bit of fat is a good thing because that's going to help to create your chicken broth. So a little bit of fat, you don't worry about it. But an enormous amount of fat, take it off. And see that slime? That was what I was telling you about. That you don't want to eat. Excess skin. You don't want it. Take it off. We've cleaned out that back. Any more fat left, take my thumb. Just go in there and get it. That little piece, if it's the last part over the fence, which is the piece that I showed you. I don't see if see if I can find one. Here's one right here. See? If you don't eat that, then just cut it off. You can save it and make uh, some chicken broth with it if you want to. Or you can just go ahead and use the chicken broth. But this is the best chicken broth, so don't throw away this. It's going to be a lot halfway through. The cooking process and I'll show it to you but don't throw it away freeze it excess fat let's take it off that that you can't get off with your hand just get your knife go ahead and take it off okay any slime or anything that you see that you don't want look at that see ya? I went right in there and got it Put your thumb right in there. It'll take all of it out. Then you take all of that and you toss it. Now, a lot of people don't clean their chicken because they don't know how to do it or for whatever reasons, they don't clean it, but I do. So if you want to start cleaning your chicken, this is the way to do it. I'm going to cut one more piece. If you like skin, leave it on. I don't need it. So I'm taking it off. Invest in you a good pair of these cutting shears. They're only like $3.99. And that's a great thing to have in your kitchen when you're going to be cutting stuff. Now, this one is clear. This is very clear. See that? That is very clear. You can see it. So, all of your chicken legs. Before I do it, though, I'm going to take some of this off. Okay. Now, I'm going to go straight down that. Watch it. Then when I go straight down, I'm going to cut it. Now you know this chicken is slimy because I got my hands out here. See that? Got me two pieces out of that. 
I see a little bit more of slime. Get it off. And then I will get this little bit of fat. Okay, a lot of people ask me about how you clean it, and I just want to show you how you would go ahead and clean it. Then once you get through taking all of this stuff off of it, then you can go ahead and wash your piece of chicken. Now, I had the rest of this to do down in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do it, and then I'm going to season this. I'm going to bake it off uncovered in my oven, 350 degrees. What I will do first is I will cover this chicken for the first probably uh, 45 minutes of cooking. What it does is if I have it covered, it's going to go ahead and produce the chicken broth that it needs to because it's actually steaming down the chicken. There's going to be no water in this at all. The only thing I'm going to have is just my chicken pieces with the seasonings on top. So that means I'm going to get some good broth that I can use at a later date. So I'm going to put this in my 350 degree oven, allow it to cook covered for that first, what, 45 minutes maybe of cooking, and then I'm going to take that cover off and let this chicken finish cooking. Why am I doing it that way? Because at that time, I want my chicken to brown on the top, and I want my chicken to have a crispy type topping on it. I don't want it to be uh, very, very crispy, like um, something like bacon. I don't want it like that, but I want it to brown, and I want the the uh, the top of it to be more crisper than the inside, and I want the inside to be tender. So I'm going to go away, finish cutting up this chicken, and finish going ahead and cleaning my chicken, and then I'll bring you back midway through the process of me cooking the chicken just to show you the broth and to remove the broth wait until it cool and then freeze it for a later date and continue to cook the chicken so I'll be back just wanted to show you that okay now I'm at the stove and I'm getting ready to put my chicken in the oven my oven is on 350 degrees and like I told you I'm gonna put this in the oven let it cook for the first 45 minutes uncovered I want to show you there's absolutely no water in this pan the little bit of drainage you see which is a very small amount is coming from you know just the chicken having being put in there it's already seasoned so I'm gonna cover this with a piece of aluminum foil. Now, when it steams, the steam is going to rise and then it's going to go back down, but that's going to cause the moisture to come from the chicken, and that's how you get your chicken broth. So that's why I'm allowing this to cook first, covered up for the first 45 minutes, then I'm going to remove it and cook it the rest of the way. But when you have it like this, your steam will go back down, produce moisture, and that's what's going to happen, give you your, um, your chicken broth. And this is the best chicken broth, as I told you, to use. So make certain that you save that. Put it up. You can freeze it to, for up to six months so you don't have to worry about it. Freeze it and use it. If you freeze it in your ice cube tray, then you can just use one or two cubes of chicken broth at a time. You don't have to use it all. So I'm going to put it in the oven. And I'm going to allow it to cook. Now after 45 minutes, I'll bring you back and I'll show you what it looks like when we get ready to drain the juice off of or the chicken broth off of the chicken. Be right back. And actually, my chicken has been in here for about an hour, really. Because I started to do something else. So I just want to take it. I'll show you when I release the steam. I'm getting ready to take this off. Now, I want to show you. You see all those liquids down in there? Remember I told you that these liquids came from the chicken itself. Okay, and these are the best. This is the best chicken stock that you're going to get. Because you remember I added no water to this at all. So now I'm going to take the pour the liquids from the chicken, take off the cover, which was my aluminum foil, and I'm going to put this back in my oven 
and let it brown up. Okay. Okay. Now I've poured, you got just the minimal amount of liquids down in the bottom. I've poured it off. Now I'm going to put it back in my oven. And I'm going to allow it to brown on top. Now, I want you to look at this. See how rich that chicken stock is? Now I'm going to take this chicken stock and let it cool. And then I'm going to put this in my refrigerator and freeze it. And this is what I'll use for meals to come. Okay? Just want to show you that. Be right back and show you what the chicken looks like once it browns. Maybe about another 30 minutes. Be right back. Okay. Take my chicken out the oven. My chicken is ready. See my chicken? That's the way your chicken is supposed to look. When you're baking it off. My chicken is ready. Now I can just do my dinner. My cabbage is ready. Back in the back pot. Having cabbage. That's ready. My dirty rice is ready. And my chicken is ready. Okay, just wanted to show you what I was having for dinner today. I'm not going to dish it up. I think that if you try this chicken, you're truly going to enjoy it. This is my version of bacon chicken. You can use whatever seasonings it is that you want to use. But as always, thank you for watching Chris Cook for YouTube. Don't forget to try this. Bye.